Hello, all of you vaingloriously wonderful people. Like every update before it, the Diamond Casino Heist DLC for GTA Online included several vehicles in the download files that have not yet been released for purchase in the game. So we're going to take a look at those unreleased vehicles, including their customization options, a quick look at a fully customized ride, and a test drive of each one. This is the first of two videos that I will upload covering the unreleased vehicles. Part 2 should go live in the evening the same day that this video goes live. For every vehicle, I chose a primary color of white and a secondary color of black as I customized each one. To keep the video from running on for too long, I don't go through the color options for each car, so knowing what's the primary and secondary colors should help. I recorded each of these vehicles using the Project Homecoming 5M server. You can find out more about Project Homecoming in the link down below, but since they are a racing community, they do take the liberty of modifying the performance of the majority of the vehicles on their server. So while I will take each one for a test drive, keep in mind that the performance that we see in GTA Online may not match the performance of what you see in this video. On top of that, several of the vehicles feature an increasing amount of wheel camber based upon your suspension settings, but it seems that this has either been eliminated or just greatly reduced on the Project Homecoming server. So starting with the vehicles that we'll see on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site, we have the Dinka Blister Kanjo with a trade price of 435000 and a buy it now price of 580000 Like a lot of the vehicles that we're going to be looking at, the Blister Kanjo has a huge number of customization options. I know that many people within the GTA Online community have been hoping for a greater number of tuner style cars, and this update does not disappoint. The Blister Kanjo has a very appropriate name because it features a ton of great options to create a unique street race. Sir.
The Dinka Segoy has a buy it now price of $1,224,000 and a trade price of $918,000. For what is essentially a Honda Civic, I'm not entirely certain this car is worth so much money. Then again, that can be said for most of the vehicles in this DLC. But hey, that's just my opinion, and I'm sure that there's a ton of people who cannot wait to add this one to their car collection. If you're among them, you'll find a car with what feels like solid performance that also boasts a seemingly endless number of customization options. You can create everything from a sleep to a street racer, to a full track ready car, and pretty much everything in between. And if you are actually taking part in any of the casino heist, you have probably already spotted and possibly even driven the Sequoia as one of your getaway cars.
The Declassy Drift Yosemite has a buy it now price of $1,308,000 and a trade price of $981,000. Like that other car in GTA with Drift in its name, Rockstar hasn't really gone out of their way to modify the handling files to let this thing, well, drift. Sure, you can get it to do a drift if you give it a little effort, but it seems this one's a little bit more for show than actually backing up its name with some solid drifting. I think I'm okay with that though. It's not a bad looking truck and you can come up with some pretty unique looks for it, but I don't know. Even if you get the trade price, by the time you customize the Drift Yosemite, you'll have spent well over a million bucks. Personally, I'm not sure that I'll be buying it when it releases, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on each of these vehicles. Be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know which ones you want, which ones disappoint, you and well just anything else that you want to say about these unreleased vehicles. The Nagasaki Outlaw has a buy it now price of $1,268,000 and a trade price of $951,000. And aside from liveries and performance upgrades, it's not really going to cost you much more than that. Why? Well, because there aren't really any true modifications for it. But what it does lack in design choice, it more than makes up for when you take this little thing off-roading. Its suspension soaks up every bump, jump, and hard landing so that it can keep going long after the road runs out.
final car that we'll be looking at in this video is the Karen Sultan Classic, which has a trade price of $1,288,500 and an eye-watering buy-it-now price of $1,718,000. Okay, I get it. Tuners, when they are done right, are not cheap. But come on, Rockstar. There are supercars with lower prices than this. I could see this car being worth it if it was maybe a million dollars less, but once you fully modify the Sultan Classic, you'll have most likely spent over $2 million. By the way, you probably already noticed that there was an issue with the interior textures loading correctly on this car. But don't worry, I've seen this one as a getaway car in a casino heist, and those weird stripes in the interior are not there. My best guess is that the textures for the Sultan Classic just weren't loading properly on Project Homecoming. And as we keep watching the Sultan Classic, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the second video featuring the unreleased vehicles from the Casino Heist DLC that will be available on Warstock and Legendary Motorsport. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're looking for a group of people to talk about these cars, or even trying to put together a reliable crew for your own Casino Heist, be sure to hit up the Vainglorious Discord server. The link for that is in the description down below. So until part two of the unreleased vehicles, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay Vainglorious.